What is going on, guys? Tactical Bacon here, and welcome to Daisy Standalone 0.53 review. This is going to be where I'm reviewing 0.53 update and kind of seeing some of the new items, or hopefully coming across some of the new items. And also, I'm going to be going to the new prison island. Not exactly sure if I'm going to make this a series or just one video going over 0.53. But this is kind of one of the new things that I'm going to be doing, and uh, what you guys are taking a look at right now is my character before I log into the server, because .53 uh, kind of comes with some server wipes and care, or excuse me, character wipes. So let's go ahead and get into a server and make sure that that's going to be happening. All right, so now that we're actually in a server, uh, I mean, automatically I, I know that my character has been wiped because in the bottom left corner of the screen it says I feel hungry. And there you go right there. Character has been wiped. So we're starting off as a fresh character today. And like I said, we're going to be going around, hopefully coming across some of the new items in the game. Um, I'll go over some of that kind of stuff here in just a second. Uh, but I believe I spawned, yeah, I spawned on the East Coast near Niznoy. I think this is Niznoy or Solnitschny. I'm not exactly sure, but it's one of those on the East Coast. So basically what I like to do uh, whenever I'm a fresh spawn and I spawn out here, I like to just kind of hit random, or most of the towns, not really random, but I like to hit most of the towns along the east coast for a few little things here and there, little knickknacks, backpack, clothes, food, and water. <clears throat> so I'm going to be going over some of the uh, new .53 features. Uh, some of the newer items, as a matter of fact, uh, you can get a, or some of the new items is a crafted leather jacket, pants, backpack, shoes, and vest. Uh, also, there's a broom. Not really sure if you're going to be able to use it for much more than a melee weapon. Um, okay, so that little lever there on the well seemed to move. I don't, I don't really think that that was implemented before .53. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the new things. One, one of the new things, so... Uh, but yeah, like I said, Broom, probably going to be used as a melee weapon. Same thing for the Canoe Paddle Lead Pipe. Uh, steak Knife, that's kind of an interesting thing. Uh, hopefully we'll come across one of those. Um, hatchet, uh, Hay Hook, Flanged Mace, or... Yeah, Flanged Mace, what, whatever. It's a fucking mace. Uh, red, green, blue, and gray sweater. Red, green, blue, yellow, violet, orange, and black quilted jackets. Uh, let's see. Blue, red, pink, and black raincoat. Yellow, orange, blue, green, red, pink, and black armbands. Now, now correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that the armbands are going to be kind of a new implementation of a group management system. Uh, it's not going to be anything like Arma 2 or 3, but it is going to be kind of a way to... Uh, differentiate, I guess you could say, between, you know, your teammates and other teammates, just in case, you know, people are wearing a lot of the same kind of clothes. Uh, let's see, getting back to the list of new items, there is a khaki, black, olive, and tam M65 jacket, uh, bayonets for AKs, a flare gun, an ice axe, a field shovel, and a lug wrench. And that's pretty much it for the new items in .53. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, I'm going to be uh, going over a few of the things that are implemented within this update. Um, but real quick, I just want to give you guys some backstory as to how I came into playing Daisy uh, and Daisy Standalone. When I first started playing PC games about five or six years ago, I want to say, I really started playing first person shooters, uh, most, or mainly actually Call of Duty. Um, I know what a lot of you guys are thinking, oh, Call of Duty fucking sucks, blah, blah, blah. But see, back then I was really into it, so, you know, cut me some slack. We were probably, a good majority of you guys were probably into Call of Duty at some point or another, or some kind of first-person shooter. Um, but yeah, Call of Duty actually got really, really boring to me very, very quickly. Um, and it was because a few of the games didn't do so well on PC or whatever. But I thought, okay, well, I'm going to go play Battlefield 4, and hopefully I'll have a little bit better luck with that game. Unfortunately, that was not the case, and I don't know. I just kind of fell out of first-person shooters and PC games in general for quite a while. Um, I don't really remember playing any kind of video games, period, for... 
oh man, I don't know. I want to say like five or six months. And then I came across this a uh, couple different videos talking, or you know, gameplays rather on Daisy Mod. And I thought to myself, okay, well, the standalone game is out right now, and eventually the Daisy Mod, you know, that's kind of like a final version. Or at least I assumed it was going to be a final version of what they would want the standalone to be. So I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and pick up the standalone and check it out. And for the first five to six months, I was really, really taken back with uh, Daisy standalone. You know, it was a completely different experience than anything I'd ever experienced in video games before. Uh, you know, even playing like GTA, you know, I mean, this is... It seems like these maps are so much more open, uh, that there's so much more space to cover or area to cover uh, throughout the entire map, and it was it's it was just a really different experience for me, and that's actually how I met Gunther and Spooge and a uh, few of the other guys that I play with, and you know we created this big group called CBK, the Chinaris Black Knights. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, originally, the idea was for the Chinaris Black Knights to be kind of a group of heroes. You know, we were going to help people, you know, people who had just spawned in. We were going to help them with food and clothes and other items like that. And, you know, we were just kind of very young and naive to Daisy, And we didn't really understand quite how things worked. Which, if you have played Daisy before, that the, you know that the way things work most of the time is... It's pretty much PvP. You know, whether you're playing standalone or the mod, a majority of the time you're going to run into situations where people just don't want to talk. They just want to shoot you. So, you know, that's kind of one of the major issues that uh, a lot of people have with standalone is there's not really much to do besides PvP. And yes, PvP is fun, but at the same time, you have to have other things there to kind of keep your entertainment value or, yeah, just try to keep your entertainment in the game going. Um, so yeah, that's kind of one of the reasons I fell out of Daisy standalone because, you know, I downloaded the mod and found that there was a lot of other things you could do in the mod. And after that, I just kind of didn't want to play Daisy standalone really. And everybody that I had played with before was like, Hey, you know, come on Daisy standalone. Let's PVP. And it's like, no, that's boring. I'm in the middle of base building right now, or I'm in the middle of doing a mission right now. I'm trying to get money. Um, you know, it was just, it's two completely different games based on the same idea. So, I don't know. Uh, Daisy Standalone, I kind of avoided playing it for the past couple of months. I uh, recently played it a couple times. Uh, you know, came across all that gear as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, and that was pretty much it. Um, it's just every time that I've ever logged in, it's been boring. And there's really not been anything for me to do. Um, and the only times that I really like playing it is when I'm a fresh spawn, you know, going out and looting and exploring. I mean, once you get geared up, I mean, the only thing left to do is PvP. So once, you know, those couple of hours where you're gearing up is over, it's pretty much the end. I mean, you know, you guys might have other, diff you know, you guys might have other opinions on this. Which is cool, you know. Definitely let me know how you guys feel about Daisy Standalone. But to me, like I said, it's just really boring. And holy shit, there's a pink teddy bear in the game. What the hell is this? Is there anything on this note? No. All right, I don't know why, but I have to take this pink teddy bear with me. Holy shit, I did not know that they put this in the game. Brian, a cute cuddly teddy bear will make your kids happy and warm. They won't be able to resist his hugs. Oh, that's the fucking weirdest thing I've ever seen in this game. Maybe, maybe the weirdest thing I've ever seen in this game. I don't know. I've seen a lot of weird shit. Um, but yeah, you know, definitely let me know what you guys think about Daisy Standalone in the comment section. You know, if it's something you guys play and, you know, you guys have valid arguments as to why it is exciting and why it's not just PvP, you know, definitely let me know. I'd really like to get y'all's thoughts on that. Um, but yeah, getting back into our review of 0.53, we're going to go over a few other things. 
things. Um, we're going to skip the mechanics, and you know, there's going to be a link to the entire change log in the description down below. So if you want to know more in depth on this kind of stuff, just go ahead and check that out. Basically, the only three areas that I'm going to be covering are new items, things that have been fixed, and known issues that come with the 0.53 patch. Uh, let's see. So things that they have fixed is suicide with various items. You and then there's uh, you cannot unpin grenades laying on the ground. So I don't know. I, I guess that's kind of cool. I've never actually come across a grenade in this game. But anyways, uh, they fixed the ghillie suit painting. They fixed the uh, arrow crafting. It no longer consumes two instead of one feather. Wait. Yeah, it no longer cons consumes two instead of one feather in certain circumstances. I don't know. I've never really crafted arrows before, so I, I don't, it doesn't really make that much of a difference to me. Uh, let's see. Deployment of ruined fish trap. Cancel action during digging in a greenhouse. Fireplace heating process tweaked. Uh, let's see. Effect of wetness on temperature has been tweaked. Handguard replacement, or handguard placement, I should say, on AKs. Uh, kitchen knife cannot be placed on the back. Fish trap deterioration and sardines count. Okay, uh, apparently there was an issue with the sardine count. I'm not exactly sure what that issue was, but okay. Uh, damage on a ruined texture on some items, book, heat pack, etc., uh, they fixed the shovel size, clothing sizes have been tweaked. Uh, uh, let's see, heat packs, uh, yeah, heat packs keep you warm longer, but its longevity is affected by its damage, uh, the damage to the heat pack, which would make sense. And the last thing they fixed was gun muzzle flashes. Um... Let's see, and then let's go over some of the known issues. Server freezes. That seems like a pretty big issue, but I don't know. We'll see how that pans out, I guess. Uh, character falls slash gets stuck after throwing melee weapon or melee weapon during swing slash weapon change. Player cannot pick up items from the ground sometimes. Via or V3S can clip underground in certain sort of the oh, Jesus Christ clip underground in certain circumstances and I believe the V3S had that issue when it was first implemented into the game a few updates ago so maybe that's just something that they still haven't been able to get around to fixing. Uh, let's see. Players are experiencing desync while next to each other slash in vehicles. Okay. Uh, let's see. Items with class names that are too long aren't saved into the character database. Uh, items and backpack rearranges upon connection to server, so that's a little interesting, fun thing to know, I guess. I mean, as long as they don't disappear, it just rearranges. Uh, players stuck in building after reconnect. That that can be kind of a shitty thing. Uh, I've had that happen to me, I believe, once. It was never on the standalone, but it was on the mod where I logged in and I was actually stuck underneath a building and couldn't really do much else after that in that server, so... Unfortunately, I could not play there anymore. Uh, let's see. Some of the other known issues. Uh, city slash shadow related client FPS drops. Makes sense. Camera clipping issues. And then the last known issue with the .53 update is zombies cannot pass through open doorways in certain objects, but can pass through closed doors and others. So, I don't know. I mean, taking a look at the uh, fixes and the known issues... It's good to see that they've, you know, fixed the uh, the sardine count, I guess. But, but I mean, you know, so, some of the known issues, server freezes, stuff like that. I mean, it, it, it can be a pain. You know, DayZ is a crapshoot. You know, no matter how you look at it, DayZ is a kind of a crapshoot. At least a standalone is. Um, I remember one of the reasons, let's see, I think about two or three months ago, I was like, okay, fuck it, you know, there's been a there's been a few updates since I played, I'm going to play DayZ standalone for a while and see if I can get back into it, and I was having a good time, it was the first time in a while that I've had an actual enjoyable experience on DayZ standalone, and then I went into, I believe it was a police station somewhere down south of the map, uh, anyways, I went into a police station, started looting and I heard a zombie running after me and I was like okay well fuck this I'm gonna run up to the roof so I got on top of the roof and pretty much 
you know, the zombie was on the first floor, I was on the very top of the police station, and somehow it was still hitting me, and then it just eventually killed me. That pissed me off right there, and that was pretty much the last time that I played up until a couple weeks ago. Okay, so what you're seeing is uh, there's going to be a little castle up here on Skalitsky Island, I believe is how you pronounce it. But yeah, that's one of the new things that they put into the game. I'm not really going to go over there right now because I'm trying to save my uh, my swim my swimming legs um, for when I go over to the prison island. But yeah, that is a new castle. Um, you know, maybe I'll I'll go over there and check it out, and make a video on it. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah, there's a new castle over there. So <clears throat> basically, I'm going to run down here towards Cami. And then head up Electro, then Cherno, then Belota, and then the uh, the prison. So, like I said, I'm not exactly sure. I'm probably going to end up having to cut this into a few different videos. But, I don't know. Maybe two, maybe even three. We'll see what happens. But, uh, yeah, like I said, I'm going to hit Cami, Electro, Cherno, Belota, And then hopefully by the time I hit the prison, we'll be mostly geared up and ready to go. Um... Don't really look for any kind of like PvP or any other kind of Daisy videos or standalone videos to be coming out just yet on my channel. Uh, like I said, not really impressed with Daisy standalone or at least the current state of Daisy standalone as it is right now. But you know, like I said, you know, things could change, things could happen. So I don't know. Um, but yeah. We're going to go ahead and cut part one short. I guess I am going to be cutting or turning this into a series now since I've already gone about 17 minutes. Just rambling on about random bullshit. But uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and cut the video short and we'll come back next with me going through some of those towns that I mentioned. And I will catch you guys in the next one.